No. Okay, it says I'm live. For those of you watching, I am um, using some new software. Hello from Texas. It's not showing me who you are unless you click this link. Let me put this link in the chat here in the comments on the video. You have to give me permission to use your comment. Okay, so we're going to try this. So I've had so many questions. Hi, Karen. Um, let me show you. I can uh, show the comments on the screen like this. This is something new. This is only my actual first time using the software. Uh, second time, like... I tested with it. This is the first time actually using it publicly. Um, so hi, Barb and Belinda and everybody here in the Cricut Design Space with Melody Lane group. I've gotten so many questions on what is digital paper and how to use it. What is it? So what it is, is it's an image that is digital. You can print it just like you would print um, anything else, a picture or anything. You, what's good about digital paper is if you're printing the whole sheet and you never run out of that pattern, ever. You can print it on cardstock, you can print it on craft board, you can print it on vellum, you can print it on sticker paper, you can print it on printable vinyl, you can print it on printable iron-on transfers, you can print it on everything. And you can use it in Design Space. So I love using it in Design Space. It's You can upload it as a pattern. So I'm going to show you that. And then I'm going to show you how I did this. Somebody asked, how did I do uh, Ariel like this? I changed her hair and um, what's that called? Her fin? <laughs> I'm not, what is that called on her? Um, I changed that. I changed this house. Do you have like a brick look? I changed this. I, it was so easy. So I want to show you guys how to use it. So if you have questions, hi Patricia, um, let me know. Go ahead and ask. So you guys can see my screen, right? I'm going to go over here to upload. And I'm going to go over here to pattern fill. Okay, now when we upload SVGs or JPEGs or PNGs, we upload them here on the left. Today we're going to the right, Pattern Fill. And then we're going to click Browse. And then I am going to go to my digital paper on my desktop. I'm going to upload this one. This is a digital paper that is exclusive to Patreon supporters. So they all get this paper. And this is totally up to you if you do this. You can um, kind of choose things. So if you're searching for tags or whatever, you uh, can find it easier. I don't usually use those very often. So I'm going to go down here. All, that's all I had to do is choose the digital paper I want to upload as a pattern. And then I'm going to click Save. Now, some of these files are a little big because they're high quality, so it does take a little time. Now, I'm just going to sit here and let it do it. You don't have to just sit here. You can, uh, I can click on upload and go back to my screen and do things, but because I'm live and everything, it's probably using even more uh, processing power on my computer, and so this may take a little longer. When it is finished, it will just go away. Now, I have shown this in other videos on how to upload a pattern into Design Space. Hello, everyone. So, are there any other questions so far? Has anyone watching ever uploaded pattern? Okay, so now it's done. But it's not there. Where'd it go? Okay, it doesn't show here where your uploaded images are. So I'm going to click back on Upload just to get back to my canvas. So here's my canvas. Now, 
I just uploaded a pattern. Now we can up, we can add that pattern to absolutely any image in Design Space or any font or anything. Here I was looking for brick. I was looking for that house. Um, like this is the unicorn that I added that to. I don't know. What do we want to add that to? I uh, let's just add it to the squirrel for fun. And we better make this so we can see it. Okay, so to add any digital paper or any pattern that we've uploaded or a pattern that's already in Design Space, all we do is click the image we want to do, click it over here, click on the scissors, okay, just clicked, click up here to print. You can change anything to print. And then right underneath, print is patterns. Now, let's let's go back and do that again because a lot of people ask, they can't see the patterns. So we're going to click on the scissors again. I'm just repeating. And there's no pattern there. You will not see patterns unless you click on print. So you have to hit print first and then patterns show up. And then you click on patterns. Let me answer this question. Karen asks, is it a special file type you have to use? No. I don't think you can upload um, PDFs. Uh, any image, I think. Uh, all of my um, digital paper is either JPEG or PNG. I highly suggest if you have PNGs, you ignore the PNGs and only upload JPEGs, they're much faster. Okay, so here's the one I just uploaded, and here's some others. Uh, here's a picture I uploaded. I've shown that many times. Here's another picture and another picture. I think I even have Ken Hess in here. Otherwise, these are all my digital paper. I'm gonna scroll down. I don't even have all my digital paper in here. Um, but I do have quite a bit of it. Okay, here's where my digital paper stops. Here's a picture of my sister. I did a video on that. Uh, oh, no, there's more digital paper. And then these are already in Design Space. So you can go through and choose those patterns too if you've never used patterns. Okay, so we're gonna change, we're gonna click this pattern. Now this does take a little bit for the first time that you use it. So I'm just going to let it sit and change. Every time I use these for the first time, it takes a minute to go in. So now there is the squirrel as a rainbow brick wall. Now we can change this and we can edit it. We can do that. We can flip the image down here and it's going to take him to the bottom of the image or flip it to the other side, which for this image, it doesn't change too much. We can rotate it. I don't like that. Oh, wait, maybe we can add numbers here. Let's just go ahead to 250. Can rotate it. Okay, let's flip it now. It'll be different. No, not too different. Um, can change the vertical and everything. You can also make it smaller. So the pattern repeats itself. Do you see how that does that? Hi, Angela. Um, okay, now somebody asked how I did Ariel. So let's click on her. So what I did is I clicked on the bottom piece right here and I changed it to print. And then I chose the pattern I wanted to do. So that pattern on her is from my fairy set. Uh, let me scroll down. It's this one. And what I did is I flipped it. 
So let's, let me click on that and edit. It was like that, but I wanted it more blues and greens, so I just flipped it. And um, I also made it a little bigger. If I didn't want any of the purple, I could, you know, change that however I want or make it really small and And then I did the same thing for her hair. So now when I click, okay, we're going to see lots of print stuff. When I click make it, now it's going to print out her hair and her thing down here, and it's going to cut around it. The unicorn, it's going to cut around each letter because I did not put anything behind it. It's going to cut that out. Um, and here's these I did in digital paper just to show you. I think it's really a lot of fun, but let me, I have to show you something about the words too. Um, let me change the color of the background. I just did this so you can see. This will cut out in between these letters. If I did not want it to cut out, what I would have to do you cannot contour a printed image, so I would have to change this back to cut. It's going to change the cut. I can contour. Oh, wait. I want to double it first. Duplicate it. Okay. And then contour. I'm going to contour everything and go back, and it's solid. We're going to go back and change this to print. It's better if you contour and do what I just did before. So you don't have to take it out. Let's do this one. Digital paper can be printed on to iron on, uh, printable iron on. Okay, so now I think I even like that one better. I'm going to put this behind it. I don't have to be perfect though because I can just select those two and align and center and then it will cover it perfectly. Um, I'm going to change this a little because I don't like his nose. So I'm going to go to edit and I'm just going to make it just a little bigger. Um, there. Let's flip it and see what it looks like. Ooh, that one's prettier. All right. And it's all the same digital paper. So now I have that layer behind it. I'm going to select them both and flatten. So now it will only cut out the outside. It will not cut out each letter. And you can make that any color you want to make it. Are there any questions? Let me show you what I had to do here. Let's recreate this. I really don't like that color. Okay, I'm going to add text. Actually, no, I'll just take this one and I'm going to duplicate it. That way I don't have to type. It's already set to print. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> okay, let me make this black. You can see it better. Okay, now there's a difference between this one. These are kind of the same, and then these two are different. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but on these, this one and this one, the digital paper, the one image covers all of it. And on these, it kind of repeats for each letter. Do you see that? This one has like fall leaves on it and it repeats for each letter. So let me show you, um, I'll do that rainbow one. I'll do the exact same paper and show you the difference. Okay, wait, it's this one. Okay, that we need to edit and make it bigger. 
Okay, let's try that. See how it does it for each letter, which that might be the look you want. I'm just saying there's different ways to do it. Uh, Connie, that is an awesome question. You can't do patterns on iPad, right? That is true. You cannot do them on iPad. Thank you so much for bringing that up. Okay, um, I really like this look, actually. But if you wanted the look like this, then what we need to do is, I like to change it back to cut, and it's still there. I just made it cut, okay? And what we're gonna have to do is weld it. So you have to make sure this is exactly what you want. So we're gonna weld it. So I welded this image. It is now just in one layer. And I'm gonna go back to print, click on patterns. And then just to show you a little different, I'm going to use the pattern I used on this so you can see the difference. If you hear snoring, that er, that is, I think it's Carly, my dog. Okay, this is from the Holly set. Um, so if I have paper rainbow color vinyl, so my pattern can be black. Yes. Like if you have rainbow colored vinyl, you wouldn't print, you would just cut it out onto that vinyl and your image can be black and you would cut it out on your mat. Okay, can you guys see the difference? Let me see if I can zoom in. There we go. Woo. Oh, I don't can't move that up. Do you see the difference? I like this better, I think. Um, but let me edit it. Now, when I make it too big, you can't really tell that there are leaves. These are all like different colored leaves painted. And you can't really tell it when it's this big. But I mean, it's just up to the, however you want it. And you can, um, let's do this. We're gonna make the shape. We're gonna make it print. I know you can't see it. We're gonna pattern it. Um, and sometimes you just have to play. Like, to be honest, I could sit here and do it all day. Can't I, Callie? Yeah. <laughs> I've been doing it for a majority of the day. Just plain. Okay, where's my image? So here's my image. And as you can see, they look totally different when you can actually see the pattern or doing it um, like in the words. Uh, let's go ahead and edit it just for fun. So it's almost like you can get totally different patterns. I mean, not totally different, but different look. Okay. Does that make sense? Have you guys learned something today? Okay, if you guys are watching this later or watching the replay, I think I'm going to put it on YouTube and upload it to some other groups on Facebook. If you have questions, please put them in the comments and I will be happy to answer them. I also add a link to where you can get this digital paper. And if you're watching this before Saturday, I don't know the date. In a few days this week, <laughs> you will get a link for 15% off the digital paper. If you are a Patreon supporter, even of a dollar, you get 60% off. So it might be just smarter just to pledge to Patreon and get that 60% off coupon. All right, guys. 
thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.